So why do you want to be SJ president? So for the past two years, ever since my sophomore year um, serving on Senate, uh, I've just learned to like fall in love with SGA. Uh, I love the people that I work with. I love the people that come and give me suggestions. I love the administration. And like I love being surrounded by people who want to dedicate their time and be the voice of SGA. And honestly, I know this is cheesy, but I wouldn't want to do anything else, and I can't see myself doing anything else. What are the three specific things you want to accomplish as SJ president? Um, so something that I said in the caucus, which I'm going to reiterate right now, is um, I can't, I won't be able to tell you exactly what proposals I will be working on next year, just because as the next year comes, there will be a new, a new morale, and then there will be new problems arising. So I can't tell you the exact proposals, but uh, one, so, for one, I want to make SGA a forum where students can come and voice their opinion and take action. And two, I want to have the communication between the administration and the student, bo student body more transparent. I know that's something that's been lacking for the past couple of years, and I think that's something that would have a tremendous impact. And number three, um, well, one specific proposal I haven't gotten, wasn't able to finish this year was extending um, library hours on the weekends and especially because of no more Saturday classes next year I think that will have like a great impact on the student body. So what made you want to prioritize being SJ president over other leadership roles? So the reason why I want to why I prioritize being SJ president over anything else is because um, well I love being on SGA and I can't see myself doing anything else like I said before and also like I want to be the student body's voice. Like, I love talking to people and seeing how they're doing and how they want the hill to change, and I just want to be a part of that change. So is there anything you would like to change about the SGA, and if so, what is it? I think that in the recent years, SGA has been doing great things, but I think there's always room to improve. Um, one being the effectiveness of time. Um, although we have great ideas and proposals, um, not much can be said in the span of one small lunch meeting space. Additionally, uh, the communication between the student body and the administration needs to be better, and that's something that I would, would want to work on immediately, because um, m this year the SGA has had many denied proposals or many proposals that has, have just felt fallen through, and I don't think it's fair to the student body to, to not be aware of why it didn't fall through because a lot of what the students want, they can't have. And I don't think that's fair. So would you say like a part of your goal is transparency? I would say transparency, but transparency part between the administration and the student body. And I think SJA's role in that is just, not even just making a specific proposal, like forcing the administration to talk to the student body, but like, kind of like for the SGA to like build a t that type of relationship between the administration and the student body. So like when a proposal falls through, when something, when a proposal gets denied, that the administration could have a conversation with any student. So <laughs> in your opinion, what is the relationship between the SGA and student body and how do you plan on utilizing it? I think the relationship between the student body and the SGA is probably one of the most important relationships that are on campus because everything on SGA is solely based off student feedback. Every proposal I've worked on is solely based off feedback, feedback from the students. And without the student bodies and their opinion, nothing's going to be able to take off. And I mean, it's great to be a dreamer and like have all these great ideas on SGA, but like nothing's going to take off without um, support from both students and administration. So how do you approach working with the administration? Uh, being on the SGA for the last two years have hel has helped me develop um, types of relationships which no one, no one else um, has. It's a type of relationship when I can approach them. They, like, I know who we approach with different problems, but for SGA itself and for the student body, um, something that we started this year was inviting uh, new faculty besides our faculty advisor to come and sit on with sit on um, in our meetings and uh, 
uh, give their input and this year we've only had one with Mr. Miller and it proved to be it deemed to be really like effective so that's something that I would would want to definitely continue next year. So what do you believe makes you qualified to be SGA president? Um, besides being very persistent, besides being very determined, I think one thing that sets me aside from all my opponents, which would make me the perfect candidate for president, is because of my two previous years of experience. And the reason why I keep repeating it is because it's very important. Um, um, having those two years of pr prior experience, I've developed relationship with different students, with different administration, and I know things about the proposal process. I know things about how SGA works. I know who to go to, and this this is what make would this is what makes me the perfect candidate because people that are just going to be thrown into it who don't have um, as much experience as I do, they're going to waste time and energy, which we can be, which SGA can be. Um, like focusing that on passing more proposals, getting the more ideas of students initiative and making a better change on health.